Um, for the desegregation of American institutions assignment, I did Josh Gibson, a baseball player. He was born December 21st, 1911 in Buena Vista, Georgia to Mark and Nancy Gibson, and he also had a younger brother and a younger sister. Um, his first experience playing baseball for an organized team was at 16. He played third base for an amateur team that was that was sponsored by the Gimbel's department store, and that was after they had moved from Buena Vista to Pittsburgh. Um, in 1928, he met Helen Mason and got married on March 7, 1929. Um, in the summer of 1930, he was picked up by Memphis Red Sox and was told he would never be a catcher, which he later proves wrong. On August 11th, his wife went into premature labor with, his, with twins, and she died while giving birth. The twins were Josh Gibson Jr. and Helen, and they were raised by Josh Gibson and their grandparents. Um, Josh Gibson eventually became a baseball catcher in the negro leagues which is where he proved wrong they someone when someone told him he was never gonna be a catcher he proved them wrong um he was among one of the best power hitters and catchers in baseball history in 1972 he became the second negro league player to be inducted inducted into the national baseball hall of fame he played for the homestead grays from 1930 to 1931 and then he moved to the pittsburgh crawfords from 1932 to 1936 and then he returned to the grays from 1937 to 1939 and then 1942 to 1946. in 1937 he played for the cuidad trujillos um and from <clears throat> 1940 to 1941 he played in the mexican league for rojos del aguila del veracruz um he hit close to 100 to 800 career home runs um, he's known as the Black Babe Ruth. Um, he's the first player since Oscar Charleston to win consecutive batting triple crowns. Um, in early 1943, he fell into a coma and was diagnosed with a brain tumor. He refused the surgical remover of the tumor. He then lived for another four years having headaches basically all the time because of the tumor. Um, and then on January 20th, 1947, he died of a stroke at age 35 in Pittsburgh. Um, people say that he was the black, best black player in 1945 and 1946. And I think he's very important to the desegregation stuff because he was able to show that, like, he was able to accomplish all these things and that he like prove people wrong everyone said he wasn't going to ever be a catcher and then he ended up being one of the best catchers in baseball history and one of the best hitters in baseball history and I think it's cool to see that like even though his wife died and he did have kids he was still able to go all around and play for so many different baseball teams and he was he went all over the place I mean he played on Mexican teams and all these other teams all over and he played on American teams and whatever and I think it's just cool to see that like even though he didn't come from, like, playing baseball at the time, he, he made it his career, and he made it what he wanted to do in life, and he was able to accomplish that. And I just think it's really cool that he was able to accomplish so much within such a short period of time. I mean, he died at 35, and he was able to do so much in that time period, which I think is really cool. So, yeah.